Hi guys, uh, very good afternoon to all of you. My name is Ajay Parmar and uh, uh, this channel is uh, dedicated for all those wannabe programmers uh, who want to outshine in this analytical industry. Uh, so uh, this video is going to be in English because uh, today I'm going to discuss uh, one of the very good uh, project in the Power Query uh, using the M code language, uh, which I really found very interesting and I thought uh, as usual you know should come forward and uh, share it with you on the channel you find uh, english videos as well as hindi videos uh, before i start uh, quickly for my english and for my hindi viewers uh, this is a covid offer update which is going on from the last one and a half month you can see here all the eight courses uh, along with their price in the indian currency duration and the language which are available ms access MS Access VBA is now available in Hindi also, which is an Indian language. So any student who want to go and purchase, uh, they can connect uh, with me through my website or maybe directly can WhatsApp me or call me on this number 9810375599. International students, please note the country code is 91. Okay. So anyways, so this was the offer and yes, there's a bumper offer. Uh, all these courses are available in 11,000 rupees also, all these eight courses. This is a biggest uh, discounted price. You uh, Now, uh, I have a requirement here. I like to talk about the uh, Power Query here. One of you have emailed me from United States and uh, name is, uh, student name is Mark. Uh, Mark has asked me that he is facing a challenge in basically uh, putting the dates uh, uh, within these you know the missing dates uh, he has to put the missing dates he has to fill this date with the missing dates uh, and at the same time needs to make sure that the quantity should also be coming for those missing dates right for example I'll give you uh, this explanation uh, he actually is trying to create here a table uh, 1st January we have 12th of January but we want that the date missing dates uh, 2nd January, 3rd January, 4th January till 11th January should also populate here instead of he is you know he goes in the Excel and uh, right click and say insert row insert row you know it's a very cumbersome it's a very very difficult task uh, it's a lengthy task I, I, I say that it's not a difficult task because if you have 500 such rows and uh, some are missing then how you can go and do that without the Excel of course VB is also there but we, we don't have to use the VBA for this simple task. So all, all the missing date should give you the the quantity 12 because it, it should come from the top. So same way for 12, 13, 14 since the numbers are there you don't have to do anything. Then from 15th to 21st of January we should see 44, 44, 44 and you know same way the entire process should be repeated. So what you need to do is you go in the power query and uh, create a new query we will go and create a list first of all uh, a list which can give us all the dates uh, first starting from 1st January and ending at let's say 28th of January okay so for that we need to create a special query a new query so right click on this window anywhere you can also go from the home tab and you, you can you know click from the home tab also I think the option is somewhere here so we have a new query and go in the blank query guys okay so in this blank query we will go and create a function called uh, list and uh, list actually uh, we use to uh, create any sort of uh, sequence in terms of the numbers right whether you need the number from 1 to 10 10 to 100 or whatever so same way it can be created for dates also okay so I like to go and cover all the dates with this simple uh, one syntax so start with the equals to price uh, equals to sign and say curly bracket and because list always starts with this curly bracket now here uh, we will simply write the date and to write the date uh, we use the hash date uh, it should be in uh, small letters and you need to write the date first the year 2019 and then you go and write the month so in our case it's January 1st of January and close this and then dot dot again we go and write the hash date okay so you can put your last date here uh, so for us it's 28th, uh, 28th February so we put here 2019 and uh, then uh, 
it's second month and 28 february right uh, and make sure we close this curly bracket now why we use the curly bracket because uh, list works with the curly bracket right now if i go and press enter uh, you see that here we see the error we cannot apply operator dot dot to the type date this dot dot actually means between you can say that right now it is ap applicable for the numbers okay and uh, it clearly says it can't be applied uh, for the dates so what you need to do is you need to use here a formula called a number dot from and quickly go and use this open bracket close bracket and same way you go and use this number dot from make sure your n and f should be in capital now this will convert the date into number okay guys and curly bracket should again come let's go and press enter right now many of you uh, i believe each of you know that dates are always stored as number in excel so this is the same concept obviously these dates are dates but they are not looking like a date so this does not make any sense to me so you need to convert this into a table because we have formed the dates we just want to go and change their uh, formatting okay so this is a very important thing which we have created here i saw the uh, the first date and the last date and then i created the list quickly okay now why i have created this list press okay uh, i'll just tell you so once you have done this go in this abc123 click here you can even go from the ribbon and we will go and change this to date okay now we should see here the date you can see here that we have the date first of january and then second of january third of january right uh, so this way we have a complete list of the date and this is what we needed it now guys it's a very simple process if you are in excel then what is the next step you should have taken right of course i mean why i'm saying excel it doesn't mean that excel can give you such a neat and clean solution but you know the idea is that once you have this youtube data here here we have the dates i simply want to look up these all dates in this query number four by using vlookup vlookup we don't have in power query but we have a same sort of arrangement in the form of merge queries so we will go and look all these dates in this table and get the quantity so in this way what happens all the dates will come which you want actually which which is all these dates because here we have a uh, option uh, where we can consider all the dates from both the tables so quickly go in the home tab and say merge query as new i want to create a new query and here i will go and look up either from query 4 to youtube or youtube to query 4 this uh, whatever you want to do it i simply go and say that i want to check the query 4 in the query in the table called youtube we have to select the table i have explained this in my power query series also which was in hindi language so here we have done this right now lookup is going to happen make sure you go and select the here uh, the full up join because we need all the rows so in this way i'm going to catch all the dates which i have created using the list function <laughs> right that's the magical point that's why we created you see that you have got all the dates now this table if this date if it exists in the youtube it should show you the quantity as you can see here if you go here this is how power query works on the joints right if you do not know about the joints then this video is not going to be easy for you okay so i click on this and we now need the all the data so i click okay so all the dates which are blank which do not have the quantity they will show null and the rest of the dates are going to come okay so here i have the column one this is the date i needed this is the date which uh, it captured from the youtube data and you know that because there we didn't have this date second and the third and all that so it, it is showing you null okay so we don't need this now because this is something we don't need it at all and uh, i sort this in the ascending order now after you sorted this in ascending order you see that we have got here 12 and then after 12 we have 22 all the middle dates the missing dates i say are created this was the power of this join now you select this right click here and we have a i explained this in my uh, video also uh, when we were talking about the power query fill down fill down will all fill down all these numbers now you can see i have got here 12 12 12 and then 33 44 44 44 44 so all the missing dates now has taken the data from the previous date and this is what my subscriber mark wanted it 
Thank you so much. And if you have any questions, uh, let me know by email. Thank you. Bye-bye.